Welcome back to another session. Um, I think where we last left off, we were messing around with detecting the position of the mouse. Uh, this is so we can move the paddle based on the mouse position. And I'm guessing that's where the control was. I initially thought we'd be moving it with the keys on the keyboard. But I think. It's fine for now. So we're gonna continue from the video. Um, I'm trying to remember where we last left off exactly. I know we were trying to create the script for the paddle, and uh, let's kind of go over it. So we, we created the serialized field of the screen width in units, and that's because we wanted to adjust the 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 values that we're outputting in our um, position to match that of the of the actual um, position relative to the screen uh, relative to the camera. I say that because the way um, because when we're when we run this um, the game, we see our console. Like this is saying seven, but in our in our inspector for the canvas or the paddle, it's saying eleven. That's because in respect to the center of, I think, the whole scene, which is right here, it's at position eleven. But in terms of of the distance between this screen over here to the the center of this paddle is going to be accurate. And that's what we did here and the reason why we set this to a serialized field is because let's say you know we want to increase the the size right let's say we want to make the size of the camera seven right but then you know what happens if uh, so now we have to adjust the size so that because in our aspect ratio, it's a four by three aspect ratio. So, so there's 14 here on this, the height. Now the height will, or the width will be um, what is it? What's, what's the the aspect ratio? Um, I think it's four by three. What makes it 14? I mean, it's fine. Essentially, we just need to make sure that we can adjust it when when you want to increase the size. That's all we we had it for for this one for this value to be able to adjust that. All right, so we're gonna continue with the video. Oh yeah, we were, I think I was talking about the vector the vector object. So vector two will hold the position of the paddle in our uh, within our camera. I wonder if we're going to pass in any values.
So I guess transform is a uh, a global variable, or it's part. It's one of the oh, mono behavior. I apologize. So I think it mo it's our paddle um, extends from mono behavior, and I think I believe that mono behavior has the transform property. So we're able to adjust the transform, which is the the values that are over here which I'll show you after it's done compiling. So here's our transform and we could most likely edit all of these features, our properties, we have the position, rotation, we could probably do like transform.rotation, right? Let me just clarify that. So yeah, I think it's because it comes from mono behavior. Every object in a scene has a transform. Unless it just, I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out over time. But for now, I guess I can just say that every object has a transform. So then we can just call it out. I guess. So if we're going to use a, like if we're going to add a script here, then I guess when we refer to paddle, whoever gets the, whoever implements this uh, script in which we use the transform uh, variable, we'll need to have this within them. Because I know canvas already does have a transform. Transform, transform. Oh, they all have transform. So I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> all right, never mind. So when we set the the values of the paddle to be 10 and 4, that's essentially making the value be well 10 and 4. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. I really have a bad feeling about this. If we do it through hard coding, because while well, 10 is still possible within this range, uh, we have to consider that it's basing off the this uh, point rather than our camera so yeah I don't know I feel like he's gonna teach us a way to make it I don't know more relative to the camera rather than the whole point but yeah we'll see I'm just gonna hit play and see what happens oh just compiler issues oh comma I forgot about it oh wait yeah I was trying to do an example like that so let's just go. So it goes here now. Oh, interesting. See, that's why I had originally thought of you know, making it 0 0.29, because that's what he said was a good spot for the Y value. If we hit play, it should be like moving to the left a bit. Yeah. There it is. Boop. Alright. Oh, I think I know what's gonna happen here. Uh let me let me try to guess what he's gonna make us do. So essentially we just did this, right? Well, 
Um, I think we should make this a global variable, so something like private float uh, y y value, I guess, and then we could just say f, so that way we could change this over here, or the starting y. But I'll change it to how he does it. I just want to see if I can figure it out on my own. So then we can just do this. I can just move this. And now it should work, right? Some errors. I wonder what errors there are. This is one. Oh. So that should be good. Nice. All right. So we'll see now. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> That's uh, cool. Well, wonder, yeah, the camera thing is really kind of messing it up a bit. So I might need to change that, fortunately. Alright, that's what I'm going to do. So we get the background. And I forgot what he, he does. Oh yeah, I remember. So you have to go to the project. Go to that sprites click on this and then we gotta make um, the pivot so if we do it center and let's hit apply it does that um, how about the bottom left oh like that um, how about left custom I don't know the exact pixels for this so let's just move it to negative 10 oh what did that do <laughs> what the heck all right here's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get the background and see if I can Transform it to negative 10. 5, 3, 2, 5, uh, 2.8, and then have the, the main camera reset the sensor. So now, with our, if I remember my position, so right now the camera is currently at zero zero, but we want to make sure we want to include all of the uh, possible, uh, all of the available um, things we want to show, right? And in our camera we have a size of six, but currently our top part is reaching half of it, so we just need to move it up six. So if we just move this to six, we got everything, and then. Again, this is uh, what's a four by three ratio? If it's six, hmm. what's the size of the of that thing again? Dang, I forgot. It's fourteen, fourteen and twelve. No, it can't be sixteen and twelve. Yeah, 16 and 12. So we already have half of it, so we just need to go 8. There it is. Now we're perfectly in the center. Now what happened to the paddle? That's odd. <laughs> what happened to the paddle? the 2D yeah 
Yeah, the, I mean, at least the ball should be there. It's odd. Why aren't they showing up? Hmm. Let me hit play. See what happens. Is it because of the layer, maybe? Hmm. I mean, the camera is there. I don't know what happened. I wonder why it just disappeared. Is it because of the main camera? Let's go look at something. I'll say sprites disappeared. So it has something to do with that there. Still not. You know what? Let me. I'm gonna save it and then restart it. Um, yeah, hold up. You see your starting layer in front. See them but like you're right there. Maybe if I go 3D, they're not rotated at all. Hmm. If anything, I'll probably have to restart this whole project, which is it's fine. It's like a learning experience. Um, Dang, I wonder what happened. It's kind of interesting. Like the game's right here, and the camera can see it in this in the editor, but in the game it just disappeared. What? That's confusing. I don't think I changed much. Hmm. Let me change the transform. I know I changed the pivot of the background. But, you know, that doesn't even do anything anymore. Alright, well, well, 
we have everything back again, but <laughs> uh, let's see if we can kind of move this. I guess that's better. Let me see if I play it. Should follow the mouse accordingly now. Nice. Right. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Probably have to check it out in the video later. But alright, cool. So I guess that's what he wanted us to do. And I do notice that, you know, once, like, it does lose, um, what do you call it, B a f bouncing force over time, or not, what the heck, no, uh, uh, alright, all right. let's get back to working on the, continuing the video. I think this is a lot better because then if we set it at a certain position in the beginning we kind of and we, we don't plan on changing it this makes it so it stays in that position throughout the whole game Actually, now thinking about it, like we don't even need to have a vector, right? Because then, what I'm thinking, right, just to make it a lot easier to understand, is we're not really changing the value of y. That's what I'm assuming. So then we can just comment that with a transform dot position dot x equals this value right here. It'll do the same thing, I believe. No compiler issues. Oh. Oh, this compiler issue. I cannot modify because it is not a variable. Oh, I see. Never mind. So I guess we can't change the specific variable. So, I mean, we're, we, we figured it out um, just a moment ago, so we can just move on. But I guess a quick explanation would be, like, so we create a vector 2, uh, which allows us to, um, to change position, or to create a position, and then set our transform position to be whatever position we wanted. So, um, I just want to make things clear about the um, the transform position if the type is of vector 2 transform position unity so it is a vector 3 huh oh that makes sense it's, there is a position Z that we don't use. But I think we could pass in a vector two as well.
Oh, this is interesting. So we have a movement speed, transform to position, in which we vector horizontal input movement speed and self to cut. thingy just to make it look more readable because then we could just change this value um, if we wanted to in the future and then yeah it make it a lot easier to change in the future I think So we're going to figure out how to make the, um, prevent the, the paddle from going all the way to the left or right. And I, I have a feeling it needs to check for positions. So before he does it, I'm going to try to see if I can figure it out myself. So let's say we only want to update if the, like, So we only want to update the position if um, mouse dot pause in units is greater than or equal to zero, and um, mouse pause in units is less than or equal to the screen screen width. Screen width doesn't return 16, so that's why I'm kind of maybe this one. This actually, this is the value that you want actually. Oh, whoa! There you go. So I think that should work. All right, let's go launch this. So we gotta make sure that we gotta consider the other half. So that would be like I'm gonna try to figure this out before I uh, end today's session. But um, so we know that is there a way to get like the height and the width of the paddle? Like does it say the size at all? We have scale position. Probably have to look at the property of sprite itself. 128. Alright. Hmm. Oh, it's a 256 by 64. So it's 256. So it's 128. So then, I mean, I don't think it's the right way, but. 
Uh, for now, to make it a little bit more accurate, we gotta make it minus 128 divided by screen dot width time screen and width units. Same thing goes for here too. Wait, is it minus or plus? I think minus. And then here, this is plus. Now, let's see if that works. We're just gonna, for now, just disable the ball and just see if we can move it towards the left or side. No, it doesn't work. I mean, it does work, but like not, not perfectly. All right, yeah, all right, I'm gonna end it here then. We're gonna probably gonna figure it out next time.